Hi, and welcome to Total Restoration. I'm your host, Happy Coach Kaylee, and I'm so excited about this program. It's about a verse we all have heard of, or at least I hope you know of, and that is John 3.16. For the Lord so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whomsoever shall believe in him shall have everlasting life, etc., etc., etc. Okay, but I want to put that incredible verse in perspective. Um, we oftentimes hear that verse and we say, oh, the Lord loves everybody. He loves you no matter where you are. He loves you, he loves you, he loves your sin, he loves, uh-oh. That's a doctrinal issue, right? Because if we read the word, then we read a part in the Bible where it says, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. That don't sound like love to me for everybody, does it? So if it isn't the way it sounds, then how can you make that make sense? How can you explain that and, and it's really explainable by this and that is the Lord has a choice just like we do the Lord says that I have made I have made man in my in our image in my image and created us in that image in Genesis and that image is the ability for us to choose and to decide and to have a choice so if we have a choice then how is it we can say that the Most High doesn't have a choice or who he chooses to bring near and who he chooses to push far away who he chooses to love and who he chooses not to love you know he says that my children are endowed with certain things and certain abilities and have given have been given certain promises and then there are those that are just part of the world that by sheer existence they are included in human nature and how the Lord set the world in place but we all do know that there are separations between his children he says he has a holy priesthood a peculiar people we are to come from among them we are to come away from the world the Bible says we live in the world but we're not supposed to be of this world so if we're not of this world then what world are we a part of and the truth is the kingdom you want to be a part of the Lord's kingdom the Lord's world the Lord's purpose the Lord's plan and that doesn't and it does include everyone because we're all here, but it doesn't include everyone into what he loves. The Bible says that the Lord hates sin and he turns his face away from sin. He has nothing to do with sin. So if he has nothing to do with sin, then how is it that he can love a world full of sin? And the truth is, he loves his children. Now what we have to be careful of as saints and, and even as people of the world is the Bible says that there's going to come a day when people that call them Lord, Lord, not all of those people are even making it to heaven. So it may not necessarily be that you and I can see because we might we don't have as sharp of an eye to see in the spiritual realm. The Bible says that he looks upon a man's heart and knoweth it. He says that our hearts are deceiving and even we may not know our hearts and we don't know our hearts in truth and in, in all of its fullness because we have limited perception, limited view, limited understanding. But what I wanna encourage you to know is the Lord does know his children. And even though you may not be living the way the Lord has called you to live, he is able to totally redeem you, totally restore you, and have you look the way he sees you in heaven. So yes, there are many. The Bible says the, the gate is wide for those that are heading towards destruction, those that are heading towards hell, and the gate going to heaven is very narrow. But he didn't say it didn't exist. So there is still hope for you, hope for me. Thank the good Lord that he so loved the world. He so loved his children, his kingdom, his people that he wanted to come from away from the world so that we can be a light. The Bible says if you put a shade over your light, then who can see it? So we have to show our light. We have to live by example and we have to show the world and those that may not be living the life that this life is very possible and in fact is mandatory if you want to be with the Most High. The Bible says he has nothing to do with sin. So if you want to reside in heaven, you have to be sinless. You have to desire to be holy and righteous. And yes, there are many of us that desire holy and righteousness. And I want to encourage you to know that it is possible. And if it were not possible, then what would the Lord have given his son for? What would he have made this great sacrifice for? If what he was calling you and I to was impossible. It's possible. All things are possible through Christ that will strengthen you as he strengthens me. So be encouraged. This is Total Restoration. I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday when we come out with the next video. You can watch all of them right here at TUGnetwork.us. 
We put out the latest videos. If you would like to subscribe to be sure that you get all of the content and not miss a beat, I encourage you to do so. I also encourage you to connect with me at happycoachklee.com and uh, just see some of the things that I'm doing as well. And you can connect with me on social media, on Facebook at KLE Coach, and on Twitter and Instagram at She's All That Kaylee. I look forward to seeing you again next week right here on Total Restoration, airing on TUG Network. Have a wonderful day, and bye-bye for now.